hello, it's me again. Well, why? At, well, who else would it be? You know what I mean? It's not going to be fucking Gandhi coming through you. It's me. You know what I mean? I say it every time. And when I used to do these things for, like, Instagram, I would say the same thing. So, I am on Instagram, but I don't post very often. It's just, like, post pictures of when I'm having, like, chicken handles and things like that. Which I did have yesterday. Like, yesterday I've been busy, busy, busy. Tuesday after I was on here, I had to, like, pack everything and went out the doctor's. So that cost us a lot of money. That cost us, like, I'd spent, like, 30 odd quid on tax leaves that day. Normally, I would have uh, walked up if I was feeling good. And the weather was nice, but it was absolutely chucking it down up here. Fucking town was flooding and everything, man, the quayside. So I had to do that. I got back. And then I didn't get back, and then I was babysitting for my daughter, and I didn't get back in here till half twelve on the night then. And I was absolutely knackered, and it's taken us like two days to recover from getting in at half twelve. It's out, I'm, I'm get, I am getting old, you know what I mean? I feel it. Anyway, um, yesterday I was up early to get ready, but I was getting a lift to Maggie's. From one of the women who go there, she only lives down the road, so she see, she'll give us a lift. So she give us a lift. I went there, had a nice couple of hours. Well, I'll see. But it was, well, I had a talk by Dr. Verrill, who is my oncologist. And he's the husband of the centre's head person, you know, the head honcho who runs the Maggie Centre. He's hit, it's uh, her husband. So it's like, it's really good for me. <laughs> Um, and you came, he does it every so often, you come and give a talk about all like the new the new treatments are going through trials and what ones he thinks are good and what ones he think. Mm. So there's a couple in the pipeline, you know what I mean? I don't know if it'll be any good for me. One may be, if, I don't know, it may be, if it works out. I could do that as a, like, if this one stopped working, then I could go on to that one, you know what I mean? But, yeah, that was good. And it's always good to know, like, if there's any trials and things like that happening. And it's good. Um, so I was there, and then my sister came for us. My sister was in a right fucking downer, honestly. She was just in one of, you know, when you just have one of them fucking moods. And then the heavens opened on the net, you know what I mean? So it was like... You cannot win. You cannot win. So we went to Tesco's. I bought one thing from there. It's for his birthday. He doesn't watch these, so I can show you. Um, and we went up to TK Maxx. I bought another thing there, which my sister was like, that you. You know me? Yeah. That's definitely me. She says, I can see you having that in the window somewhere or... Something I'll show you as anyway what it is. Um, then um, we went to Matland, didn't get the fucking Matland's got fuck on and it's awful. Honestly, the stuff at the minute isn't very nice. So, went to Matland, like I say, we had a cheeky Nando's, which is always nice. Nando's is getting expensive as well now. It's the same with everything, everything is getting expensive. Um what else is going on? I am not babysitting the day. Yes, I don't babysit this Thursday. Yes. So, we've been busy yesterday and Tuesday. I'm having a, a day in. And tomorrow I've got the grandkid coming. So, I'm going to be busy with him tomorrow. So, I've, like I say, I've been as that. I've done a bit of shopping. It's not that much, but it, it's not fucking cheap either. Um a bit shot and I've got a few non-food items like a couple of personal care items and that um like I say it's just and as you can tell I've still got the arse end of this fucking viral thing <coughs> sorry it's just it's awful I'm still not feeling a hundred percent so I'm not like dancing around the fucking kitchen and things like that like I normally do listen to fucking 
a gold digger by fucking Kanye West before he went, you know, before he went a bit, I'm God. Yeah, before he, he, he's always been a bit funny, but before he went, like, totally fucking batshit. Probably get smack on the hand for saying that. But I do not care. What can they do to me? They can't not do nothing. I can't sing. I can't sing anyway, but I can't sing for monetary reasons. Otherwise, I would be. For YouTube. YouTube bosses will get, you will get wrong. The copyright thing and things like that. Anyway, like I see, I've been to Asda and I'm just rambling there with about fucking shit. As you can tell, my throat is like still sore. It's like, oh, wow. It's just, I just kind of seem to get rid of it. Oh, and it sounds like, I sound like a frog. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, hey. And then like, I see I'm still coughing up them big greeny, green. Well, I think I need to go to the doctors and get uh, some antibiotics for my chest, but try to get my doctors as I like, try to pull fucking hen's teeth, honestly. You know, I'll be waiting for two weeks to see him. Even though with my condition, I should actually see him straight away to get antibiotics. You know what I mean? So, never mind. I can cope. At least my teeth are like staining at the minute, so... That's a that's plus that's a plus. But when my back ones here start to wobble, so I think that's gonna go, come out for the So there's another one lost to fucking cancer. Anyway, so well, I'm gonna be left with fucking none in it eventually. Do you know that that's how I feel. I feel like I'm gonna be left with no teeth and how the fuck am I gonna keep bottom teeth in? Cause you need some of the Fix on because there's no hard bone in the bottom, like it's quite soft, yeah. And everybody's the same, so you need a couple of teeth to like click it in. So I don't know what I'm going to do if that happens. I'm going to be fucking shit street without the paddle, anyway. See, I'm, I'm just rambling. Why? Why am I just rambling? You know what it is? I never used to talk. And like, now I fucking rambled for... I, if it was a sport, I'd be a fucking gold medalist. You know what I mean? Dark and shite. Anyway, um, I keep getting messaged up and I keep getting distracted. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake, I can't even remember what I was going to say. Anyway, I've been to Asda and I've got me shot and I'm going to do me all because... I've nearly 10 minutes and I've talked about crap. Anyway, so it is an Asda haul with two bits. And, well, I got some free room for yesterday. I can't find it. One of the lasses at Maggie's give us a couple of, she had a rhubarb harvest and everybody wanted some, so we got a couple of free sticks of rhubarb. So I'm going to chop that up. Sort it down with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of water. You've got these little like kiln jars, little ones. Put it in there and it's perfect for a few days just to put on top of yogurt and use as a topping with fruit and things like that. It's nice with rice pudding as well. So I'm gonna make one of I'm gonna do that later. Anyway, right, I'm gonna get on with the haul. Um like I said I went to test schools with my sister yesterday and the only thing I bought bought this for me, for me, love of me life, for me partner, towards his birthday present. And it is a Pink Floyd t-shirt, because he loves Pink Floyd. So I bought my new t-shirt. I'm going to get him a couple of other bits, but we're not like, spend the fortune on each other, what we were, trip coming up in that, so... Like, he just gave me money and I'm just going to give, buy him a couple of bits for his birthday. And like I say, I went to... Thingy, to... What you call it? To Tinky Max. I only bought this because it was on sale. But this is so me and it'll go in there once I've got the finish. Da, da, da. Isn't she cool? 
the plastic like 13 quid's worth of plastic but it's just like she's quite heavy though for being like that and i want to like stick a plant in her head see that though you won't mean if she's up high enough you, you don't need them but yeah i want a uh, so I bought her because she'll just go and I know she will and I do like kitschy stuff I love anything with a bit of kitsch and I've been looking for one of them prints you know the green like Asian Chinese girl from the 70s like it was a Russian artist that did them I've been looking for one of them for myself not a real one because they're worth a candy bit but just a print and I have found them on Amazon and it's not too expensive because some of them want a 30 quid for like a reproduction print I'm not, I'm not fucking paying that so this one will come under a tenner and that's a postage as well because it's a small business you have to pay postage anyway they were the couple of bits I got yesterday so now we're going on to the Asda haul so I've been to Asda I've got three bags here Quite full, well, two of them are the one, is it? Quite full, and I actually, I've actually kept the receipt. So I'll be able to tell you how, if I remember how much I'm Oh, God. There's one thing, and here I am absolutely disgusted at the price of, and I think yours will be when you fucking see it. Right. Got some. Kitchen roll, this was two and fifty for two. I normally buy the ones from my shop, but I couldn't be asked to get up, so I just bought them. They'll do, they're not special, it's just to wipe up the crap in the kitchen, basically, isn't it? Um, right, first bag. Spring onions, which were 50p. Um, two tins of this cured chicken breast. Now, this is really nice in salads and things like that. You know, when you haven't got no in you, I call it like my emergency meat. You know, like I always have a couple of tins in, and I used my last tin last week. So I thought I'll get that and I'll have that in. And they're two pounds for each of these little tins. But they do the job. You know what I mean? Bought some onion granules, which were a pound, which I needed. Um, pack of bacon, two pound twenty-five. Got some six, six thick on small mm -hmm. back up. Oh, I keep getting messages, man. So bacon that was two twenty-five. I am doing bacon, I am doing a uh, breakfast for tea tonight. So I'm doing a cup brekkie, but I'm having it tonight. It's going to be lovely. Two pound fifty for some cracked heel cream, cause my heels are terrible. And I want to get them summer ready for me for me new Doc Martin sandals. Yes, you know. But if I ever get progression, I might end up on capsaicin, which is a bastard on your feet and your hands. And I want to get my feet in nice tip-top condition, just in case. I don't think I will, but just in case. Um, I've got that, this Salon, Salon Savia Dark Brown Root Disguise. Now, the reason why I've got that is because you can see I need my hair dyed. And especially up here, and it helps with this baldy patch sometimes to like disguise it a bit. I've got like the normal one, so like super drug, like dry shampoo. But this I bought a takeaway with this because it's just a nice little size to fit in my toilet bag. So that's why I bought that, and it was two pound. And it's normally it's normally a bit more expensive than that. So I've got one of them. And I've got two quarks. These were one pound ten each. Never eat this stuff, mind. It's disgusting to you. But it's great for using in cheesecakes and stuff like that in your white sauces. You know when you need a bit of like cream cheese and stuff like that. Use that, but don't. It's good to cook with, but don't fucking even buy it. It's like stinking. 
I see the do is like a cheesecake, and I've made cheesecake with before, and it's all right. Then it's fat free, and so it's it's a good alternative. Uh, I've got so one pound um twenty it was for some fat free cottage cheese. Cottage cheese has gone up. Um, sixty nine paper some black eye beans. I don't like red kidney beans. I think there might be the texture, I just don't know why. But I do like black eye beans, so I usually put this in when I make the chilli. Um, 90p for a tub of sweetener. Or as my friend calls a fairy dust or dust, because it's like in dust. I've got, these were, I think these were pound for four lemons. And these are a decent size and these are just to squeeze the juice out and have a warm hot lemon water. So that's what I'll do. I'll use half of one because I'll can you size so I'll get eight cups and I'll put like a teaspoon of honey. Put some of that nuka honey which is expensive but it's really good. And I think I might be needing it again because I can feel it's getting um, cold sores on my lips. And then they all like mouth ulcers. And it's really good. You just mm -hmm. rub it on with your finger, and it's like well, it's an antiseptic and stuff, and it's really good for that. Um, got one one twenty nine for a jumbo and maxi for my daughter's dog. I always buy actually. Uh, three pound eight p for some as that gold. It's actually not that bad for a cheap coffee. Give it a go. It's a bit like Kenko Smooth. Uh, 150 for some Asda's own, they start doing their own like, you know, mouthwash, like medicated one. So got one of them. Six, 59 page and I've got two bottles of low calorie Indian tonic water. And you all know why I get that. Because I get that because of the cramps in my legs. And I take half a glass every day with some juice in, in it just to flavour it. Or I might put a slice of lemon in, something like that. Because the cramps are really bad. And since I've been drinking this, I've only had about three. Instead of going from having one, two a day to having three in the like, space of like eight weeks is like amazing. So I'm very, very happy about that. Oh, sorry about this, I'm a bit like, flying Um, this was two, two, two fifty. it's the Pantem Pro V, Miracle Serum, smooth and sleek, I do read this, I, I put this on my hair once a week, when I've had a shower, leave it in for like three minutes, like you would with a conditioner. <laughs> yeah, you can't actually leave it in if you use a small amount. Mm. You can actually use it as uh, heat treatment as well, you know, when you're styling yeah. So you can use it for a few things. And it always and it lasts for ages, it's a good size. You you don't need that much. So got that. Um 89p for some I still do cheese and crisps, I don't touch these. Like I see my granddad and grandson's come in the morning and he loves cheese and crisps. So they're for you tiles. Got the soft pickers. These are the only wholemeal, wholemeal bread the tile I'll eat. So I bought that from plus I do like these as well. I'll fill them with chicken and salad and make some chips on the side. Double carbs. Double carbs, why not? Uh, these were a pound. They were one pound twenty for the, the four buttons, which I'm a bit angry about because they used to be one pound. And but even before that, you used to get five, and they took one out. So here for take one out and we and up it by twenty p. Inflation, do you think? Yes. 
Um, fridge readers, get these for the guns on your notes and as a snack. Blah, 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 pound, what can I say? Um, what else have I got here? Got this for my grandson. He loves the cheap pepperoni pizza from Aldi. Ugh. And he has it smothered with um, barbecue sauce and it's stinking. Six eggs. These were pound fifty actually for six eggs. pound forty five. Sorry, for six eggs. And they're just medium. Like, I see it's not much, but you know what I mean. It's just stuff that cut cost. These were three fifty. These are my ankle highs. I wear these with boots instead of socks at the minute, because I always find your boots are too tight with socks. For these, they still keep your feet lovely and warm, but. Boots aren't as tight. Oh. Night paper, some gold cut gold kit. Gold kit, triple action toothpaste. Right, I'll see they were 350. Um 165 for a pack of sheets. Toilet roll. These are the ones that are supposed to be like the double roll, so really it's supposed to be four, but actually it's two. Confused? You will be. Uh, one pound twenty for some couscous. This has gone up. It used to be like eighty nine p a bag. It's gone up like no, I think this was one forty. Sorry, this is one forty. So it's gone up sixty p. It's gone up nearly by half. Actually, it's gone up over half. I think. Sorry, I'm, I was never any good at maths at school. I bought this, and I know it's big, but I wanted it big. And it was five fifty, no five pound, and it's an everyday basics, just round neck, long sleeve t shirt. I wear these under cardies, and I like them baggy because I don't like anything that's like too constricting. I hate the feel of it on us, and it's like, oh, please stop the torture when you do that. Um, we're going on the last bag. I'm just going to take a drink of my coffee again. Because I can feel my throat getting so and so up. Oh, yo! Right. I've got some turkey, Bernard Matthews roast turkey slices. There's five in there. It's for me to have a snack on. Sometimes I, I don't really eat pan, fancy eating, so I just like snack on like protein type things. And these were a pound. So I've got one of them. That was this is night to pay the cook tam. I get that from my grandson to have these pitas. Two fifty for some strawberries. Now this thing here boils my piss. Right? Honestly, it really, really gets me. Where on God's green earth does it say that size bottle is three pound fifty? No, more. Three pound fifty. Right, that's three pound fifty. A tiny little bottle of fucking olive oil. Where? Why? Please, somebody, can somebody explain to me why it costs so much now for olive oil? I only want it for a spray bottle to use in my fucking air fryer because I don't cook with oil normally, but I won't use, like, fry light and stuff like that in my air fryer because it fucks it. And it actually fucks your frying pans as well. They don't tell you that when you use it. So I try and use a spray olive oil as much as possible. So... When earth? How? How does it cost that much? How? How? Please. <laughs> Who can tell me how it costs 3 dollars for a tiny little bottle of fucking olive oil? That does, boy, that does like make us mad, really. I'm going to have to get on because it's getting, it's cracking on me. Um, 55p for a bag, bag of carrots. 
um, two pound, no, two pound for some pink lady apples. These are my favourite. So I do spend a little bit more on my apples. Three pound for one of these very small bacon trees, but I love these. These are really good. They're solid. The as does own make and the, the good stacks and the, you've got the little bit overhang to carry it with and these are really good you know if you're just cooking one and you don't want to get a big massive bacon tree out or like two little things perfect less wash always good in my days one pound twenty for a butternut squash you can see i'm going to make some butternut squash soup this week Again, we want to do that. A uh, small bag of bird's eye peas. That was a five, three quid for that little bacon tree, and the butter sauce was 120. Uh, these were 145 for a small bag of garden peas. I know I could have gotten a bigger bag for slightly more, but I don't use them that often, so we've been false economy, so we've just been lying around. And I'm going to make some uh, dry rice. Weekend. Oh, Tower of cups just tumbled down. Um, eating AP for some little gem lettuces. Uh, one pound sixty eight, four pairs, which is not bad. And they feel like they're going to like right them up nice. Um, fifty six fifty nine p for some coriander. So I'm going to make some salsa again pound for some green beans I'm having the rush now uh, this is the 15 p for some broccoli uh, 60, 16p for a tender half cabbage which I really like um, 90p for two courgettes and the last thing was 60p for some cherry tomatoes and that is my haul. Oh, I'm fucking knackered now. Right. Um, there's me thingy. That. And I did get an extra fibre on my card for Christmas, like the savings card, Christmas savings card. And that came to, with that card, without the card it was £71. 50 43 with the £5 card, it came to £76 and £43. Isn't that fucking disgusting? And I have got so far saved up for Christmas, I have got 40 quid on my card. So I'm going to have to go now. So you know what I'm going to say because it, this only lets us do half an hour. So I'm going to have to go. So sorry about this. You know what I'm going to say? Be good, be kind, but most of all, be excellent to each other and you know what? Just be a nice human.